<sighs> well, I believe from the thumbnail you just saw, you already know what we're going to talk about today. Here it is. Ah, I'm, I'm already excited. But first, what I'd like to say, guys, is um, um, by no any means, I'm not any kind of professional tech reviewer or electronic devices reviewer. And, and this video is not sponsored by Unihertz in, in, a, in any way. It's just my own personal opinion and experience about this really cool and unique de device I bought about a year ago. And uh, I just wanted to share my experience with some of you guys who are interested also in this kind of phones, unique designs, retro style phones, and uh, want to know more. And uh, even though I'm not going to talk about the specs here, I'm just, because I want to keep the video shorter, so if you want to know the specs of this phone, you can just go online and see them on their website or just check it in, uh, in Google. It will, you will easily find it there. But uh, what I want to say is, um, I believe I consider myself, uh, or I used to consider myself a huge, big uh, cell phone and, and smartphone enthusiast when I used to buy a lot of different kind of phones in, back in the day, in like early 2000s, I used to buy uh, those models like the Nokia's and with the Ericsson's and you know, all those rotating cameras phones and uh, sliders. And all. Back in the day when all the phones were different, right? Everyone had a different phone and it was really cool. So um, yeah, I'm going to do an um, an ex uh, unboxing experience so you can get the feel of it like the same feel I got um, a year ago when I bought it so this is what the box looks like it's a very simple cardboard box with the specs here in the back very cute and I think I think the guys at Unihertz did a good job at the designing the package it's just very simple, uh, light, minimalistic. I like it. And here we can see the logo. It says designed by Unihertz. It's really cool, really cool. So in this envelope, we have a um, screen protector that I never used. We have some papers with the instructions. And we have the uh, the SIM card pin, SIM card slot pin. Beautiful package. You know, I feel like opening when opening this phone and this box feels like you're opening a a box of expensive chocolate. That's how I look at this. And um, here it is, the monster itself. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. The Unihertz Titan. Isn't this beautiful, guys? I personally can easily say that I'll, I'll, I can just look at this phone for hours. I I really love it, and the reason it the reason I bought it and I like it like that is because it reminds me of. Uh, of my days in the early 2000s when I used to collect phones actually I used to buy the really unique designs and expensive ones for example it, it this phone reminds me of uh, one uh, Nokia E61i I used to have which was uh, considered a business phone slim made out of steel and beautifully done like a real business phone and it looked pretty similar with a uh, very similar physical keyboard and uh, also, this phone reminds me of uh, one iconic BlackBerry Porsche design. If some of you are familiar with that, if you don't know about that, check it in, in Google. Take a look at the BlackBerry Porsche design. I feel like this reminds me of that phone, and I love that. I love these kind of designs, unique ones. Um, also, I feel like 
this phone has some like Virtu vibes to it or some Virtu lines or details it reminds me of those of some of the Virtu models it's really really cool I never had a Virtu phone but it reminds me of that and also of course I have to mention the Blackberry Passport it kind of reminds me of that phone which is iconic let me take it out of the box this is a heavy phone guys. the phone is really heavy it is it, it weighs about 300 grams which is really heavy actually it's one of the heaviest phones I ever held in my hands but it's not heavy for me I mean I, I like the way this feels it feels solid it's really well made well built and um, it's built like a tank like uh, you know you feel like you're holding uh, a really good looking and expensive brick in your hands I like it I, I love it and also I like some of these details like for example these screws it has three screws on each side beautifully done and I like also the uh, this finish aluminum finish on the sides lovely lovely looking uh, aluminum and the buttons are working really well really responsive and um, I love it now let's see what we have in the, uh, what else we have in the box here we have the the charger also it comes with the USB type C cable and I believe here used to be the the earphones which I have no idea where are they now let's take a look closely to this wonderful looking machine what I want to say is about the about the physical keyboard nowadays most of the people you know all of us we got used to those plain glass smartphones right vertical with all the virtual keyboards but this feels different first of all when you if you touch this keyboard it feels real it feels pleasant and nice when you press them press every button you feel them and this gives you you know a different kind of experience um, it's more like a, like a those retro style phones so we, it's for those who love this kind of designs I personally love it so much and um, I can easily I can definitely see the the amount of work the amount of hours and, and work and passion that the guys at Unihertz put into making this phone a lot of hard work and um, yeah and I, I believe for the money I paid because I paid about like three hundred dollars maybe 350 or something like that for the money I paid I, uh, I get a lot of phone you get a lot of phone for the for the money you pay so I believe this is worth every penny also on the back side looks beautiful I love the design very simple and this aluminum plate with these four screws they look really good steel screws it looks solid you know it gives you confidence when you when you hold it in hand you're not afraid to drop it I can easily drop it anywhere I don't care I can drop it in the river or somewhere I know it will work so it's a very solid one about the camera the main camera um, I can't say that it does uh, a great job by making quality pictures no the quality is pretty poor actually of the pictures uh, you can't even compare it to these latest smartphones we have these days with 4k quality and it. it does the job I mean in case if you have a, an emergency you can take a picture when you have it yes but it's not uh, of the high quality uh, what else uh, the the fingerprint sensor works really fast I'm really satisfied it works every time fast the keyboard lights up it lights up in the dark so you can see it easily I like that the screen I want to say about the screen that it is bright 
pretty, I mean, pretty bright, uh, pretty clear, but still I cannot compare it to the latest uh, smartphones we have these days, right? The, especially like the latest iPhones and uh, Samsungs. It's, uh, but it does the job. I'm satisfied because I had so many phones I can compare easily. So I'm satisfied. It does a great job. It's pretty fast. Of course, pretty fast, but of course not as fast again as the latest smartphones. But for the again for the price you pay, it is worth it. Just for three hundred dollars, it it's worth it. And um, this phone runs on Android ten. I when I bought it, it had the, it came with the Android ten. I updated it later in a few months to Android eleven, and it works really well. It, it, it can it can handle any task all the latest uh, apps I have all of them all the same apps I use in my main phone for example I use the messenger I use the Google Drive Google Maps it works it may be a little slow but it's just manageable it works no problem it it does the job um, what else the YouTube I, I watch also sometimes YouTube on this uh, phone and as you can see it's a square screen right so it crops the image it's not like we got used to these days with the vertical phones with all full screen this is just a square image and it crops a little bit but I got used to it you get you, you may get used to to this in a few days I mean it's not a big deal but it's different also the um, the sound quality is really good. It's clear, crisp, and loud. So I love listening to music on this. Hello. Well, this is a treat. You join me, Richard Hammond, in my absolute favorite place in the whole world. I'm in the Bridge Hotel in Buttermere. You know this. You've seen that stuff before on Drive Tribe. This is where I come. I'm not... Lovely quality. Book ...behind the bar. I'm behind the sink. It's up. Yep. Also, I use Instagram, for example. Yeah, it works. But as you can see again, the pictures are are, are cropped. So you have to scroll up and down to see the picture completely. But if you take your three fingers and do like that, you swipe down the screen will just change right away to uh, a narrow one like a, it will emulate a real uh, I mean a regular smartphone we have with a vertical screen it, so you can see the entire picture but I prefer actually like this I prefer it square I love this is the point of this phone this is the idea to have to be a bit a little different and uh, to have a different kind of experience so yeah, um, also it has an emergency, some sort of emergency button here. You can program. I guess I, I yeah, I programmed it. If you hold it, I get the flashlight. Uh, it opens the flashlight, so it's a nice feature. Uh, what else? It has also the the 3.5 millimeter jack, where you can connect your uh, plug your uh, high quality earphones and listen to some high quality music which I do sometimes yeah and uh, I think this is it what I can say is I'm sure I'll never sell this phone I bought it specifically to, to keep it for myself to remind me of those epic phones I used to have back in the day and uh, I can easily you know just put this on my desk and just look at it like a like a a piece of art that's how i look at this and there's a fun fact a fun fact uh, what happened actually about like uh, i believe it was six months ago i was traveling in, in the big city in, in nyc in the subway i was sitting there and i see i got a message from one of my friends and i was texting him back i was writing it and in one in a moment i see one guy he was standing like close to me and he was staring, he just staring like this at my phone. <laughs> so I look at him and I understood that he actually got shocked. He was like, what the hell is even that? 
but I understood he, he he got pleased he's like by by seeing something like this in in public in 2022 now in 2023 people using something like this so yeah it's it's definitely a head turner it's a head turner that you re rarely see in public these days but what what i want to say is i don't think i can easily just uh go ahead and recommend it just like that to anyone, right? Just go ahead and buy it. No, it's not like that. I believe that this phone is not for everyone. It's only for those who are looking for something different than we have these days, for something uh, unique, and for those who appreciate the, the, the craftsmanship and this kind of details that you don't see uh, in uh, these phones uh, these days. And... Um, I look at this more like at a collectible item. So basically, it's more for collectors. Right? That's how I, I feel. And for those who know what a real rugged phone is. A heavy, uh, really well made and durable. For those who are looking maybe for a, a phone to go on a hike somewhere in the mountains. I, I believe that that's what it, this is the job uh, it does. Um, yeah, so... If you are more into this kind of fancy, slim phones with 4K quality and stuff like that, all the latest, you may be disappointed if you buy this. So this, you, you, gotta, you have to think twice before buying something like this. But I am very happy I bought it and um, I'll, I'll keep it in my collection for, for many, many years probably, maybe for life, I mean. So, uh, and I, I, I use it actually as my backup phone because uh, now I'm not using it as a daily driver. I, I use one of the flagship phones, uh, the latest ones. But in case if I drop it and, and break it because I travel a lot around the country, I always have this by my side. I have it in my bag and um, I can just take it right away and use it. It's always ready with all my apps in both phones the same ones so that's why I keep it with me always as a backup phone um, also the battery life is just amazing I, I've never seen a phone that has such a long battery life I think it's about a week you can use it for a week I believe with one charge I can't remember but for many days it's just unbelievably it works really 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 well so yeah, I think the, the nostalgia will hit me again now, so it's time for me to close the video. <laughs> so if you guys like this kind of video, hit the thumbs up and uh, let me know there down below in the comment section. What do you think about this device? It's just interesting for me. Do you have it already maybe or you are planning to buy it? Let me know. It's just interesting for me to read all your comments. Um, yeah, this is it. Uh, I may do in the future some more reviews like this if you like it because I used to have some really unique phones back in the day crazy designs that you don't see anymore <laughs> in these days so I could do some more reviews maybe in the future we'll see uh, yeah so enjoy your day guys thank you for watching and um, maybe I'll see you next time